I see you gather before me. Hungry, terrified, clutching your babes to your breast. Emperor Emir has marched his legions into our lands, laid siege to every fortress from here to the Blue Mountains. Rabid and ravenous, he bites and bites away. Men of the North, you stand at the precipice. Your kings have failed you, so now you turn to the gods. And yet you do not plead. You do not kneel to dust your heads with ash. Instead, you wail, why have the gods forsaken us? We must look into the trials we failed long ago. In a time past, our world intertwined with another through an upheaval scholars call the conjunction of the spheres. The gods allowed unholy forces to slip into our domain. The offspring of that cataclysm was the nefarious force called magic. Yet we did not banish it, instead studying the vile arcane for our own power and wealth. And the monsters at our door, the unholy relics of this conjunction, the trolls, the corpse eaters, the werewolves, did we raise our swords against them? Or have we laid this burden on others? On so-called witches. Stray children taught the ways of foul sorcery, their bodies mutated through blasphemous ritual. Sent to fight monsters, though they could not distinguish good from evil. The flicker of humanity long extinguished within them. <laughs> yes, their numbers have dwindled through the years. But a few still roam our lands, offering their bloody work for coin. To this day, they shame us with their very existence. The North bleeds! Flogged by war! The battles are the gods' whip, chastisement for our sins. And let us not forget the terrors, the scourges from beyond our world. The wild hunt rides the sky with every full moon. The Dark Raiders abduct our children into lands unknown. Some say they herald a second conjunction. Can we chart a course back into the light? Will we find the strength to banish the mages from our kingdoms? Unite around the warmth of the eternal fire. Nigh is the time of the sword and axe. None will fight this war in our stead. Nigh! It's the time of madness and disdain. The Witcher 3 Wild Hunt is an action role-playing game with a third-person perspective. Players control Geralt of Rivia, a monster hunter known as Witcher. Geralt walks, runs, rolls, and dodges, and for the first time in the series, jumps, climbs, and swims. He has a variety of weapons, including bombs, a crossbow, and two swords, one steel and one silver. The steel sword is used primarily to kill humans, while the silver sword is more effective against creatures and monsters. Players can draw out, switch, and sheath their swords at will. There are two modes of melee attack. Light attacks are fast but weak, and heavy attacks are slow but strong. Players can block and counter enemy attacks with their swords. Swords have limited endurance and require regular repair. In addition to physical attacks, Gerald has five magical signs at his disposal. Ayar, Axi, Igni, Erden, and Quan. Air prompts Gerald to unleash a telekinetic blast. Axie confuses enemies. Igni burns them. Erden slows them down. And Quen offers players a temporary protective shield. The signs use stamina and cannot be used indefinitely. Players can use mutagens to increase Gerald's magic power. They lose health when attacked by enemies, although wearing armor can help reduce health loss. Health is restored with meditation or consumables, such as food and potions. Players occasionally control Siri, Gerald's adoptive daughter who can teleport short distances. The game has responsive advanced artificial intelligence and dynamic environments. The day-night cycle influences some monsters. A werewolf becomes powerful during the night of a full moon. Players can learn about their enemies and prepare for combat by reading the in-game bestiary. When they kill an enemy, they can loot its corpse for valuables. 
Gerald's Witcher sense enables players to find objects of interest, including items that can be collected or scavenged. Items are stored in the inventory, which can be expanded by purchasing upgrades. Players can sell items to vendors or use them to craft potions and bombs. They can visit blacksmiths to craft new weapons and armor with what they have gathered. The price of an item and the cost of crafting it depends on a region, locals' economy. The game focuses on narrative and has a dialogue wheel, which allows players to choose how to respond to non-player characters. Gerald must make decisions which change the state of the world and lead to 36 possible endings, affecting the lives of in-game characters. He can have a romantic relationship with some of the game's female characters by completing certain quests. In addition to the main quest, books offer more information on the game's world. Players can begin side quests after visiting a town's notice board. These side missions include Witcher contracts, elaborate missions requiring players to hunt monsters, and treasure hunt quests, which reward players with top tier weapons or armor. Players earn experience points by completing missions. When a player earns enough experience, Gerald's level increase and the player receives ability points. These points may be used on four skill trees, combat, signs, alchemy, and general. Combat upgrades enhance Gerald's attack and unlock new fighting techniques. Sign upgrades enables him to use magic more efficiently. And alchemy upgrades improve crafting abilities. General upgrades have a variety of functions, from raising Gerald's vitality to increasing crossbow damage. The game's open world is divided into several regions. Gerald can explore each region on foot or by transportation such as a boat. Roach, his horse, may be summoned at will. Players can kill enemies with their sword while riding Roach, but an enemy presence may frighten the horse and unseat Gerald. Points of interest may be found on the map, and players receive experience points after completing mini-missions in these regions. Players can discover places of power for additional ability points. Other activities include horse racing, boxing, and card playing. The card playing mechanic was later expanded into a standalone game. It wasn't meant to amuse, but to prod you to hurry. It's midday already. You promised Siri you'd train with her. Go before Vesemir bores her to death with those etchings. So, later then. Hmm. See you later. You're running out of juice. I know. You might bring me some more once you're done training.
Witcher's fast asleep. Ciri's disappeared somewhere, of course. She prefers practice to theory. Hmm? Why? Time to wake up, Master. These lessons so boring they put you to sleep too? Damn it. After taking notes on ghouls and owl ghouls, wanted to rest my eyes a bit. <laughs> Making her slog through that brick? No wonder she took off. John of Bruges lacks flair, true, but he's reliable. Not like the hogwash they print nowadays. She's tackling the pendulums, right? How many times do I have to tell her? Don't train alone, it only embeds your errors. Bring our young damsel to the lower courtyard. She wants to practice, she'll get to practice. Don't get mad at her. Why the hell not? The whippersnapper refuses to do as she's told. You like that about her? Fine. I suppose I'm partly to blame. But this has to end. Now. Killing monsters is not something to be taken lightly. Siri must understand that if she's to become one of us. I'll see you below. See why you were so eager to practice. Strike. You're not in this circus, pirouette. Wrong. Footwork. Get down. With a flip? What do you think? All right. Take off the blindfold. You've got work to do. Your reflexes are still slow. Maybe for a witcher. Think drowners or striggers will go easy on you because you haven't undergone the mutations? Though in your shoes, I'd fear Vesemir more than any strigger. Disobeying his instructions? Unwise. Well, yes, but that book was horribly dull. I know. And you know that's no excuse. <sighs> I'm sorry. It won't happen again. Sorry's not good enough. You're gonna read Ghouls and Al Ghouls in its entirety, appendices included. No, please! I'd rather clean the stables. End of discussion. Come on, we'll practice with the others down below. Shall we run the walls? Of course. Is a witcher school or an elven bathhouse? Beat you to the bottom. <laughs> Maybe if you fall. Tell you about breathing through your mouth in rhythm with your steps. Siri, cut it out. <laughs> 